What you're looking at here is the Ringing Rocks Pluton Boulder Field, which is sitting in the Deer Lodge National Forest, and it's located about 18 miles to the east of Butte, Montana, and not that far off of I-90. And what we what you have here is a boulder field that you can drive any car kind of close to and walk in, or if you have a more off-road capable vehicle, you can drive right up to it and uh, hop out and hit these cylindrical boulders with a hammer and create a ringing tone. And uh, it's a little bit of a geological mystery, but I hope to kind of delve into this a little bit more in depth and uh, we can kind of see what we come up with. You hear people in the distance pounding on them. So let's talk about this a little bit. Uh, it is definitely lands in the geological mystery category. Um, there's not a whole lot of research that we were able to find on these rocks. Um, everything that I was able to find, I will put down below in the description box, but even still, it's not much. Um, kind of the prevailing theory is oh, here comes more people up here. Uh, the prevailing theory is that although the rocks have a lot of olivine and iron, it's only like 7%, right? So um, the theory is that the rocks are under tension. Now there's like more woo-woo theories that uh, the ones that are in contact with the ground aren't going to ring. And that doesn't really ring. We did find some across the way that were in contact with the ground that rang, but listen. Obviously you can see where people have been in the, in the boulder field here, pounding away. There's one that's on the ground, but nothing. It's a little higher pitched. That's... Nothing. <clears throat> Let's uh, go around to s s give some of these a smack. That one's pretty good. That one's very tinny. You can see some maybe people walking in down there. Um, there's a little board and some hammers that they make available to the public. But this is quite the boulder field. You can see Sarah there on top of them. Um, it's pretty interesting. People, Some people believe that uh, the rock is under tension. Yeah, on a molecular level, the rocks are under tension. Oh, that one's very ringy. This thing's like hinged out. Okay, I think we should uh, try to find a piece. I think that's coming home. Interesting. So that was an extremely popular spot for a Saturday afternoon. The view here is incredible. We're going to be spending the night out here. Uh, it's a little misleading that the BLM puts up a sign that says if you take the rocks from the site, they'll no longer ring, as if the harmonic tone of lightly striking a rock in the physical sight uh, or in some way connected, which which they're not. They're, that's not, not true. Um, but uh, we have a piece. We'll uh, take it back to the shop. We'll slice it up and we'll look at it up close. And hopefully uh, it can provide some insight as to what's going on here. Um, I find it to be really fascinating that no, I don't know, geology graduate student from Montana has taken it upon themselves to come out here and do some work, write a paper, something like that. Yeah, more people on dirt bikes. Anyways, we'll uh, see you back at the shop. Here is 
the rock that we brought back. And while it's cut now, you can see the sparkliness to that. The That's going to be the olivine, I believe. Now on the inside, actually let's talk about the, the rock itself. So, uh, I was not able to reproduce that very tinny tone. And uh, there's a couple of things going on there, but to be totally honest, um, well, my knowledge of the harmonics of rocks is basically zero. Now, I do have some interesting rocks in my dump pile, some basalt that has a more metallic ring, but not exactly like uh, what's out at the Ringing Rocks. I would 100% recommend going out to the Ringing Rocks and do some investigation. Um, so, uh, what did we come up with after cutting? So you can see that olivine in there. Now what you can't really see with uh, it dry like this and I think it's going to show up. You see that blue? I think <laughs> that is blue pyroxene crystal. Um, I would have to send this to a friend of mine that has a microscope focus. Here we go. So you can maybe see right here in the middle of your screen, there's some blue py pyroxene crystals. I think that's what we have going on here. Uh, interesting material, very interesting. I have not came across something like this and this is a little bit out of my comfort zone as far as geological knowledge. <laughs> um, but, uh, you know, I wanted to take you along. Uh, it's definitely a site worth visiting, and uh, all of the pertinent information will be down below. And if you like this type of content, even the, the occasional geological mystery, uh, go ahead and please hit the subscribe button and uh, that bell for notifications of future videos just like this. Uh, as always, hey, uh, thanks everybody, and any, any thoughts or uh, information about this material um, would be very much appreciated.